Pro Animal. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have here a 2005 Ford XLTS Pleasure Way with about only about 18,000 actual miles on it. This thing is beautiful. I'm gonna take a quick walk around uh, on this unit and kind of show you anything that I notice uh, as I do with uh, all my videos. And I'm very picky. Uh, this one right here, it is very, very clean. Um, it's uh, got the V1068 Triton engine. And it's actually running right now. Purrs like a kitten. It's got nice tires on it. The wheels are in good shape. There's no dry rot on these tires at all. Very good tread. Yep. And now this thing, as with most of our uh, vehicles, uh, we tend to not have time to, to buff them. When they get in, we try to just wash them and take pictures of them. So this thing has not been buffed or detailed, just washed and vacuumed. And it still shines very nicely. Okay, and I'm gonna go around here and you can see the pinstripes on this thing are just beautiful. I'd say this thing was garage kept, I'm almost positive, just because of the condition of the pinstripes and the, and the paint. Uh, the paint is just beautiful, even on the top, those pinstripes, those pinstripes really, really uh, take a beating from the sun usually, especially there on the top. They start to fade, crack, and this thing has, I didn't see any at all. You know, it's, it's very clean throughout. Uh, pictures do not do it justice. Um, they have a lot of high resolution pictures and uh, because of the way the sun was that day, it looks like uh, you can't really see the stripes, but the stripes are in very good shape. Excellent shape. Um, there are some upgrades that the uh, previous owner had done. Uh, for instance, the doors, he uh, took off the key, the key to, you know, lock, the locks and he put this, uh, uh, these on there so you can just put the coat in and open them all up that way you don't have to turn it off and jiggle with keys oh that's really nice that's a, really a nice thing I did you can see here the stripes also very good shape I, I really think this thing was garage kept very well maintained both sides there's absolutely no rust on it in fact I'm gonna show you the underbody soon and uh, you can see that it's very very good shape underbody has it's one of the one of the cleaner ones in fact maybe the cleanest uh, here we go you can see the underbody there is a generator the uh, generators usually the bottom of the generators on these things rust very fast and that's common and it's not a big issue but this thing has virtually nothing on it it's just so clean. Uh, now I did notice some scuffs here and a little bit of stress marks, you can see that right there. And let's see, I think that's it. Otherwise, on the bottom where it's normally very scuffed is in very good shape. You kind of go around here. Now again, this not, has not been detailed. A little blemish right there. Is your generator compartment, generator exhaust. You can see that. Ugh. It's just very nice and clean. This is your LP tank. Outside shower. And I think that's it for the outside. I'm gonna go inside here now. Okay. Here is the inside. Uh, now I did notice the uh, carpet has some fade to it. That's very common on these things. I'm not sure what that's from. Now that's not from the sun. Because you get it even under the seat, so. Yeah, you can see it's, it's nice over there on the corner. You can see a little bit of fade there. Now the previous owner had some some of those buttons installed. I'm not sure what he had there. It does have the original curtain that goes all the way around. He put some upgraded uh, Alpine speakers. 
Got a nice CD player, face plates here. So plenty of storage throughout. You can see the mileage there. Like I said, it is running now. It's 18,440 as of right now. Um, you can see the oil pressure is nice and where it's supposed to be, the temperature and the charging system there. All the amenities have been checked out and are in proper working condition. The generator only has about 17 hours on it. All that stuff, your water heater. Storage here now. You got storage here. This is a wardrobe. Now he put shelving on here. And you can see he has an amp back there too. Well that's he did a really nice job there, but if you if you wanted it back as a wardrobe, you could take those shelves out fairly easily. Here's the uh, kitchen area. You have your sink here, two burner stove, plenty of counter space. This in fact comes out and you got counter space up to about here. Got some drawers, your furnace, three-way fridge. Uh, what else? Here's your uh, bathroom slash shower. Self-contained there. Your sink and some storage. And uh, that's a medicine cabinet also. Your shower curtain. Now right, what else? Let's see here. Do you have a? This is a convection oven. It's upgraded. Uh, rather than the microwave that they usually have in there. This is the carpet here also. Not bad, not bad. There are some other things he actually put. Uh, these are something that the previous also owner also did. I think he had his fishing rods. I think that's what this is. It holds his fishing rods there. Of course you got your fantastic fan right there. Let's see. Now this is the uh, electric bed. So all you have to do is put that down and it flattens out the bed. Now now that bed will reach up to here and then there's a piece of wood that goes here to complete it. So you'll have a bed all the way up to here. It's a nice big bed. Okay, your roof AC there, some more storage. And more storage up here. Got a coffee maker. And I think that's about it. I mean, uh, you sit over here, you can see there's no leaks on the corners, anything like that. Very, very well maintained. Uh, it does have this, uh, that's the original Pleasure Way TV actually. And uh, it looks like you put the um, analog to digital, or digital to analog converter box there. And uh, this TV comes out so you can watch it while you're up front because those sweet seats do swivel you could put a table up there you got your inverter here little amp all that stuff DVD player yeah, I think that's it like I said this has not been detailed as of yet but it will be soon and uh, if you guys have any questions uh, would like some more pictures more information, just let us know. You can either give me a call or email us. My number, my cell number is 847-529-8753. Thank you and have a good day.